Hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and I'm back to show you another in the signature belly band this time. Not a pocket, but a belly band. And it is on both sides. It's very cool. Has extra strings. So the way this came about was yesterday I had made those other pockets. These. And I had an extra of these papers because I forgot to press the button when I was filming. So that was yesterday's project. And these are both sewn. I do want you to know that you never have to sew any of these that, that I'm sewing. They can all be done with glue. And glue works as good as thread. Sometimes better. Because my sewing is very wonky sometimes. And... Well, enough said. You know what wonky is. And mine can get wonky. So anyway, I had this extra paper left over. Um, an 8.5 by 11 and an 8.5 by 11. So once again, just fold your coffee paper in half or coffee dyed paper or thin paper, whatever, whatever you have. It doesn't matter. And then I took this double-sided paper and I folded it in half. Now, what I want to do is cut this back like we did this here. We, we, um, we didn't cut it back, but we folded it over an inch, I believe it was, or an inch and a half or something like that. Well, today we are going to actually Cut it off to make it look like this faux envelope. I know that's not a regular envelope part, but I couldn't do a roundy one. <laughs> so it got this. It got a angle envelope. <laughs> if you don't want to do an angle, then you're just going to come up here and cut it off, you know, like that. This is the one we're doing today. So um, let me show you the whole thing. This is side one. This is a tag you can write on. And the reason I wanted to do it this way was because I was trying to think how I could add extra journal lane space. And this solves that problem. It gives you something pretty to look at on the page. It's fairly flat. Um, the bulk in this are the brads that I put on here. So, and this. These little baubles are a little... Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to get my throat clear. Okay, so I want to cut this back. Um, I think I did this one. I got about... Oh, let's just measure it and see what I have. Um, about one and five-eighths of an inch. So I want to I wanna cut off one and five-eighths of an inch on these two pieces. So one and five eighths. We want to cut off the side that opens. One and a half and three quarters. Five eighths. Right there. Just a little before uh, the three quarter mark. So there we go. Let's make sure I did it right. Yep, I did. Okay. So I just checked to be sure the size was okay. Okay, so this is a centering ruler. You don't have to have one of these. The only thing a centering ruler does for you is kind of gives you the center. You just even these numbers up, four and a half. So there is half and four and a half. So I'm going to line it up again. Four and one fourth, four and one fourth, about there. Okay, center is right here. I want to go over one to one and a half inches on each side. Okay, so we have our one and one fourth. I'm going to get rid of that center line so I don't try to um, cut right there. I'm making the lines that I'm going to cut my angle on. Then down here on the spine side, I want to measure up. Oh, probably three quarters of an inch because remember this is going to be part of it's going to be in a spine and so you want it to 
not get caught up. And this one is just three quarters. So let's measure up three quarters of an inch and let's do the same over here. Three quarters of an inch. And that way this will kind of stay out of the way of the spine and it won't, hopefully won't wrinkle up your paper and stuff. I'm going to cut both pieces at the same time. I don't need that part out now. So I'm going to line this line up on this side with that line right there and cut it at an angle. It's a little weird to get it lined up, but it does, it does work, I promise. So there's that one. And now let's do this one. So we have our mark there and there and there and every time you move one, the other one moves too. Okay. So there we go. And that is our angle cut on this piece. Now, like yesterday, we're going to glue this into the spine to start with. Let's make sure those line up. Oh, goodness. I might need to nip just a little bit off the t top of that. Just tiny, 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 tiny. Just a hair, just a little hair. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. Glue and put the glue down just like we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. Put too much glue, so I'm getting some of that off of there. Then we're going to line it up again. I am using the same paper because that's what I had cut from yesterday. So um, that it's off. Okay, that's better. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and open this up and pull this flap up and you're going to put glue right along this edge. And I would give it, you know, a, a nice wide swath of glue there because anything that has stress on it will eventually pull away. So we don't want it to do that. And this may pull away when I go to put the um, fold it back up so we'll see. We're going to fold it right away just to see if it stresses while it's just adhering. Because if it does, it's going to stress later too. And what I mean by stress is that. Okay, so we know that won't work. So let's pull that one up. And it needs just a little freedom there. Now, what happens now is that you get this wonkiness on both sides. That's okay. That's better than... Um, it's going to be in your thing. You're never going to fully open it like this once it's in a signature. That makes sense? I hope so. Goodness. I have remade this video a couple times today. And I went out, I loaded it all up, got ready to put it where I in the Photoshop. And I thought, you know, I need to listen to this. It was horrible, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm glad that I didn't upload it for you because you guys would have all wrote me off. <laughs> She's gone nutso or something like that. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, I forgot I used up all my lace on the last one. Okay, let's pick that up there and throw that plasticky stuff away. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, put this stuff on here. Now, I want this to go over the edge right there, and I want it to come all the way out to here. 
So what I'm going to do here is cut that angle in. I think that's it. <laughs> Ooh, let's find out if she did it. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh my goodness. So let's glue those down and then we'll put the next piece on. I will need my Fabri-Tac for this. Time to update my glue again, I guess. Got a glue string. Okay, make sure you get this one glued down all the way. Okay, then we're going to do the same thing over here. Don't know if I have them frontwards or backwards. Doesn't matter because this is wet glue, so we don't want to really flip it over and um, cause a problem on the other side. That's pretty good, cutting the angle just like that. I think that's too wide. Just a little bit, right? Okay, okay. There we go. There's that part. And then I came along with this little velour or whatever you call it. And I'm going to put it on here. Okay, so I'm coming around to the back. And I'm going to nip these little pieces off right here. And then um, you'll want to come back and go ahead and get this all glued down. Right now I'm not going to worry about it. So what did I do next? Next I um, decorated this. And where's my decorations? I don't know. Over here I guess. Uh, here's a little girl. I might be able to cut that or tear that down a little bit. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, if this is still loose, it might go in there. Especially if I cut it down a little bit. Wonder about this one. Oh boy, she almost fits in there, doesn't she? I don't want her to get caught up in the spine. I mean, they could, as far as that goes. You don't need to put the, you know, um, stuff on here. You could actually put it like that. That would be very pretty. So I might do that. Okay, so let's try this gal. She has her soap and water here. That gives a nice little card behind her. And then it puts her right on there. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Now normally I would ink all this stuff up. But I'm trying to be very good. And work a little bit quicker. So um, sometimes I'll ink, sometimes I won't. I'm putting it closer over here because to this side because of the spine. My very dirty towel. That's not dirty. It's just full of um, ink and uh, paint and glue. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to ink her, you guys. She just won't go if I don't ink her. She's got too much white, white, white edge around her. I'm trying not to dip into my ink because then I'll, I'll have the bug again. Okay, that feels better. Whew, what a relief. <laughs> Oh, not really. I can go without inking. I didn't use to ink at all. And then I saw everybody else doing it and I thought, well, maybe I should ink. And I tried it for a while. I didn't like it. And then I started inking. And I don't know. It just kind of caught me. <laughs> I caught the bug. Okay, now the other thing I did on the page was <clears throat> I added um, some little things here. This says, best ever, adore you, and sweet. So let's just take the sweet. On the other one I had butterflies. 
I think it was butterflies. What I'm trying to do is remove this so we don't need the pop dot on there, really. Maybe we do. <laughs> I should have done this beforehand. I didn't know it was going to be so hard. Okay, I think that's good enough. to use the other glue okay so we're just going to pop this one right up here in the corner <clears throat> and it says sweet life we'll see if it holds if it doesn't hold we'll try something new so let's take this little butterfly and I don't know let's put it right here maybe okay I've got an ink I'm sorry but it needs ink because this one is more vintagey looking than the other one the other one's more of a I don't know <laughs> I don't know There we go. I almost think it needs to be down here. I think it does. Okay. So we have to use the other glue then. Okay, there we go. That gives it more of a 3D look, doesn't it? Okay, then the next thing I did was I made a tag. And I made the tag out of um, this uh, same paper pack, but with uh, um, the roses. And I made these at two and a half inches wide and then <coughs> I put this in at two and a half inches because this has a two and a half inch mark although that does not look like it's two and a half inches It is. Okay, so slide it in there and make it fit into the two and a half inch mark. And there we go. Ah, see, it wasn't really two and a half inches. I don't know. Sometimes it seems like everything is off just a little bit. There we go. Let me throw that away. Okay, I know these are on both ends, right? So we are going to stick this through. And we're going to take a look at this one. And we want it to stick up here. And we want to cut it off right about here. I know that's really short, isn't it? I have a reason for that. And then we're going to cut this off again right about here. It, no special measurement, but you'll see why. Okay. <clears throat> we need to put coffee dyed paper on the back of this one. Let me quickly grab one. The weather has been beautiful. I should be out coffee dyeing. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this onto here. Let's glue it this direction. 
And we'll just use regular glue if it comes out here because it's faster than me using glue stick. Glue stick's great, but I love my glue stick. <laughs> but I always oh, get glue everywhere. All over my hands. Well, I don't get it on my feet or anything like that. <laughs> that would be weird. I get glue all over my feet and my hands. Wait a minute. That's not the truth, Angela. No, I don't get it on my feet. I have... Uh, I don't know. I always miss the corners. Don't get your new mat. Okay, there's that one. Don't worry about that one. Okay, so we need another one. And let's see. Oh, I know I have one. Oh. Is that going to be long enough? Yeah, it's not quite as long as I would like it, but it will work. Okay. Two and a half inches. Okay, I'm going to come back a little bit this time. And here it is. So this has a one and a half a two and a half and a two inch. You just cut it the width and then slide it in the rails for the right tag. Okay, let's measure this against that one so we'll know where to cut it off at. This is for the other side. And then we need one more at this size. So let me peek over here and see what I have that's extras that will work. Um, oh, hey. If that's two and a half inches, it will work. It's slightly off. I'd rather have it smaller than bigger, because if it's bigger, I have to trim it all down. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty side. It's long, but I think we'll use it, you guys. Why not? Let's do. Don't lose those ends. You can lose these guys into the scrap bin. There we go. Away it goes. My scrap bin is already building back up. I finally sent the scraps off to the woman that requested them. I hope you got them, uh, Dory. And uh, anyway, I haven't heard from her. Um, it says that they were delivered to the front door, so. I don't know. I'll have to find out if she did. Anyway, I mailed them to her for free. It cost me 20 bucks. They were so, they were so heavy. And, you know, I didn't charge her anything. But it took me a while to get them, get them there, but, you know, I ended up with COVID and everything else. And <laughs> Couldn't do anything about that. So, sad but true. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna cut this right along that edge if I can. Oh. 
I should have pushed this down on the back. I forgot to. And because of that, I've got some wrinkleage. See my wrinkleage? It's a wrinkleage. Calling all wrinkleage to the front door. It is what it is. I cannot fix it. So, what I want to do is cut this off right here. I am going to put this back in here upside down so I can see the hole and stuff in it. Like this. My hole is right there, so I need to cut a little bit more of this off. because I want to line that hole up and any other pieces that might be extending beyond where they need to be. It's wet glue. It isn't going to like it. Oh boy. It does not like the paper today, you guys. Okay. Well, let's see if I need to take that off. I don't think I do. Maybe just a little. Let's take this piece and put it on the back, right here. Now we could, oh, we'll save that. We're going to put it on in just a minute. Same way with that one. Don't do it yet. <laughs> okay. off right at the top right there hope it's drier than the other one yep it was a little bit drier than the other one okay so now we have our two tags okay now, to do this tag, what I did was I grabbed a brad and I grabbed, oh, let's do this part first. I grabbed the brad too, but let's do this part first. I put the glue down for the, don't get your paper. I need to put something down. I'm trying to be stricter with myself on some things. <laughs> because I can make a giant mess. And it, you know, sometimes it just drives me up the wall. But that's the way I craft. It always has been. So, anyway. Here we go. I'm going to put this right at the top of it. You could put it um, across here like we did on the front. I just thought maybe it needed to look a little different. And it only hangs over a tiny bit there. You can make it hang over further if you like. Okay, so there's that and that. 
And then, let's see. I took one of these little ones and some of the Fabri-Tac. This is a little butterfly. I put it down here. And let's see. Then what did I do? Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Then I went up to the top. And up at the top, I did. I did something. I know I did. I have this, but that's not the one I'm looking for. Looking for this. This worked pretty good. Okay, let me put that back over there. So, I wanted to make um, a bow here, and I I don't want to use an eyelet this time. I want to use a um, a brad. Oh, Brad, you're going to become a bow. So I tried to get it as even as possible in this nice fat bowish kind of way. And then you pull it a little tight as you know. Then you go back and you pull it a little bit through and a little bit through pull it again then you keep adjusting until finally you make a perfect little bow not like that okay that has to go back there oh it's too twisty I messed it up I was getting there I think it's because I didn't iron this at all, so it is wrinkly. Hey, you. No wrinkling under there. We won't have it, will we, Bo? It takes a little bit, but once you get it, it, you know, it's, it's good to, um, do a, a good job with it because it's once you're down with it you're down see right there I wrinkled it but that's okay just give it a little twist okay now pull it just slightly I'm sorry this takes a little time, but it does. Stay with me. You're going to love this. You will, you will, I promise. Besides, I'm going to show you something that you probably haven't done before. <laughs> I had never done it until today. Okay, got that off of there. Now, let's see what it's going to look like. Perfect. It'll do. It'll do in a pinch. Okay, separate these two. Hold the bottom piece right there. Get your hole punch. And we're going to use... Hold your shape there, fella. Oh, my dog thinks I'm knocking. <laughs> okay, we have to be able to see through here. Go in with your hole punch. And we're using the um, little one. The, um, I can't think what it's called. Line it up on the middle there. And punch it through. Carefully pull it out because we don't want to fray it all up now. Pull out the little pieces. 
put a little bit oh not that glue see what happens when I lay my glue down over there I forget where it is okay here we go put this spread through that hole it's okay if it gets separated going to put it on like that then we're going to put another little bit of glue okay and don't put it on upside down <coughs> excuse me I'll edit that out, I promise. Push it down there and separate the little wings, the little bread wings. Okay, we'll straighten that all out in a second. This you want straight because we're gluing it down as we go. And then we are going to put one of these on the back right here. Okay, so let's put this one down because I really like this one. I think it's really cool. I'm going to use the, whatever you call this, Fabri-Tac. I tell you, I've been <laughs> forgetful all day. I think it's because both my husband and I got up way too early. 2.30 this morning. I got up because my cat decided to throw up. And it was sleeping on my bed. Thankfully, he got off the bed. But still had to clean it up. <laughs> then I noticed that my husband was up, so I thought, well, what the heck, I might as well get up. Now, I would have just not put this hole in it. That would have been a, a good way to go. But um, it doesn't hole punch that way. You don't get the choice. So I think to save on time, we will just decorate the one side and then I'll show you the other one. Because decorating the other side is exactly the same. Hey, you get on there. And I'm I do the this the same as well. Hey, that's not going to stick, you guys. The other stuck just fine. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Oh, look at that. It ate right through it. Well, that's no fun. I have to throw that one away. It stuck to me. Get off me. Okay. Well, plan B. I'll just put that on there. Um, no, we won't. Let's come over here. Beehive. There's a hand. I don't really want a hand on there. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Let's do this. No, because it'll show at the back. Um, I think this is the best option. Okay, we'll just make it look like a little tag hanging there. How's that?
or we'll make it look like a little tag that just fell on it and ruined it. Okay, so there we go. There's that part. Then what I did was I took this and I did a twisty type of thing. So I started it and I twisted it. And of course, you've probably seen me do this before. I'm going to twist it again. Maybe not right there. <laughs> before it twisted good. And you do want to glue this part down here because it won't go in your belly band properly if, if you don't. Now once again I got some glue showing through. That doesn't help us, does it? to glue that and that and hopefully I'll glue this one a little bit nicer okay what it doesn't like is um, twisting right where the There's creases in the seam. Creases in the seam binding. Oh, no! Then what I did was went ahead and put one a butterfly over on one side. Like this. And then if you want to decorate it further, you just go ahead and do that. And then what it does is it slides in here like this. I don't want to leave it in there because it's wet. And the bow will be up this way. And it shows down here. So what you want to do on the other side is put this butterfly so it's showing out on this side of the tag. Okay. All right. So that is all I have for you today. And uh, I appreciate you coming out and hanging around with me. Always. This is kind of in the way here. I left it too big. Okay. Well, I've got to get going. I've got to get help my hubby with dinner. And, oops, wrong needle in the wrong bin. Let's see. This one goes over here. All right. There we go. Okay. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed this project. Here is the finished one with both tags. 
I didn't get a butterfly on this one, but it would be nice to put one on it, wouldn't it? So there we go. There. All right, thanks for joining me, and I hope that you'll give this belly band a try, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!